So we are going off towards the end of the year, but we still have a week or so to go. But I, I want to see everyone that is here. When I look at you, I don't need to ask you. Did you get any from your Lord? I don't know what we say, no. Why? Because you have life. You are all here alive. It's more than enough. From January to now, you are alive. You have to give that on to you. If you are not thankful, you can't resist again. So we have to know how to be thankful to God. Why? Because He's our maker. Like I said the last time, to be able to purchase us as children of God, no one can do it for you. But Jesus Christ came and did it for me and you. So for that reason, you have cause to give that on to Him. Amen. Continuously. Not only once in the day. Continuously. Or say I did it last year. No. Continuously. Because life is very vital. Very, very important. You that you have life, don't just take it common. No. Somebody did it for only once. They wouldn't come and do it again for you the second time. That is Jesus Christ. You cannot pay him for that. The only thing you can do is to call him your Lord. And what I want to explain today that God will grant us that ability to be able to be obedient to him. All we need is obedient to the Lord. And what? To have faith in him. When you obey him and have faith in him, just know all his promises will come to pass in your life. Amen. Why? Because it's a hope of glory. We had this morning talking about glory. Jesus is a hope of glory. Without him, the glory of God can never at all shine in your life. He came for that reason. He's done it already. He's finished his work. He's gone. It's me and you now to remain where we are and make sure what he has finished, we continue to work on it. He came and he went. He passed it back to you. It's over to you. So you cannot think that uh, Jesus is coming again to do it for you. No. He has finished his work. He has finished his work. He said it's all is complete when he came. When he went to cross. He said it's all finished. That the sin nature has been paid for. All that is remaining is for you to inherit us of Christ. Become your portion. Which many of us are from today. Why? Because we are not obedient to him. So all we need is to have obedient to him and believe in his name. Believe is the Lord. That with him all things are possible. Take it or leave it. It's because of you we are living it today. We started this year, January. We are now in the month of December already. If you think the Lord has done anything to do, that does not stop that. There is something I'm still looking for. I'm not able to get what I'm looking for. No! You have life is more than enough. Amen. That you have life is enough for thank you. Tell the people what they have done for you. That the Lord has kept you to this day. Not because you are righteous, no. Just because of his mercy. You are alive. That's more than enough for me and you to give that on to him. Not until he say I was to up here yet again. I've not seen it. So I now love him to talk to No! You have life, which is very, very important. They say, where there is life, there is hope. Where there is life, there is hope. You are alive today. You have cause to give that to the Lord himself. Amen. When you give that song to him, it's, it's a way of asking him for another thing. If you don't give tax on him, whatever he has done to you, you have no reason to ask for any other thing again. But first of all, be thankful. Then he will push more doors for you for other things to happen. Amen. And many of us, we are looking for the point for. The one you just said to just small now, I see this up here. You sure it's just small. Can you do it yourself? No. First of all, be thankful to the Lord. So from now to the end of this year, we're going to thank the Lord for keeping us the the end of the year. Bringing us into 2020. If you think he has all done it for you, but you are alive today, you are hearing me clearly now, it means you are not sick. It's the, it's the job I have had. It took care of you, unknown to you. It's the doctor of doctors that you have. Not your ass doctor that you think is your doctor. That one is just a woman around you. The real man is Job Arafat himself. All it is you 
lead their enemies. Wow. All that we need, brothers, is that is obedience. Have faith in him. Know is the one that we think all things are possible. Whatever he says, nobody can stop it. Wherever you are, his hand can reach you. When he sweats his hand to you, there's no devil that can stop his hand. It's not possible. He cannot block it. Why? Because it's most high. And that is why you are serving. That is what you are serving. So I want everyone else to know today that from this day forward, make up your mind to have faith in him that is the Lord. We think all things are possible. And sincerely from your heart, part of your heart, give that song to him. For at least be alive. Any other thing you are looking for, I'm not saying you don't get it, but do not say until I get that thing before I thank him. You have life, so thank him for that now. Yes, sir. It's more than enough for you to thank him. Why? Because when you thank him, you are only a free check for yourself. It's every time he Christ, you get it. His promises, you get it. No devil can stop you from getting that because he has already promised any of the children what they need to have. And for that reason, brothers and sisters, we are alive. We should know that we have cause to give that on to him. Not only today, till even the end of this 2019. Every day, give that on to him yes, that sir. you are alive. Amen. Why? Because so doing, we will launch into 2020 without any complaint, without any sickness. The enemy are still around, but they can never touch you. Why? Because his fire is surrounding you. Amen. That is his, his arm. Once his arm surrounds you, no enemy can touch you. Forget about who are saying around you. He's the Lord. And he's the one that has power over every other power. It's optimum power. And that's the one we are serving. When we're here today, we should just know that the Lord himself but his power is to make sure that every one of us that all that is on our voice, we see 2020 and move on forward. No enemy can stop any of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall all see 2020 is coming in couple of days to come. Amen. And no enemy will stop any of us. All you need to do is have faith in him. Yes, sir. Give us on to him. That God has tell you I'm alive today. No, you say, I don't have money, I'm not eating. You, you cannot tell you you stay for 30 days without eating till today. Is there anyone here for 30 days not eating? Anyone here? Because he doesn't have money. Not that it's fast you, because he doesn't have money. For 30 days he has not eating. Is there anyone that that here? Nobody. So you cannot come and say, God, and I'm still looking for something I have not got. No! Forget about that. Thank him for Then, definitely. Every other thing that you need, you will get it. Why? Because he's the provision for everything. He has everything in his hand. He has everything in his hand. Yes, the enemy is always there to distract you, to make sure he knows if you have faith in God, then your problems are solved. He will always bring things to memory. They will say, no, I don't think God is still there. He, he hardly knows it happen, but today, I don't think it's still happening. No. Till tomorrow, and forever, it's the same God. He has not changed. And he will not change. Amen. You cannot take away from his post. Many of you think, you will not decide to close this church now. There are no more God. Is it the church that is God? It's not. He has million churches on this head. If you close your own, you will not deny yourself of these blessings. All that I see, I may see their blessing. So, you cannot say, just like a chief, say, I don't want to greet him anymore. All that are coming to greet him, if you don't come, it doesn't matter. If you come, you get your best for him. If you don't come, he keeps best, he keeps another person. That is God. You say, God, you are no more God to me. No problem. He's still on his seat. Did you vote him there before? No. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. You didn't vote him there. So they say, today you must leave. And whatever you do, they remove him. But God, nobody voted in him. So nobody can remove him. Yes, sir. That one is forever. Yes, sir. We like it or not, you must worship him. Mm -hmm. So for you to get your blessing, he thanks unto him. Yes, have faith in him. Amen. Know with him all things are possible. And where he is, no evil can surround you anymore. Yes, Why? Because his hand is not enough to protect you. 
and that is what he does for all his children. He has promised for every one of us. All I've come to tell you today is, please, please make up your mind and have faith in God and give that unto him that you are alive. Being alive is very important. You can have one billion all of here. Then you are sick. Doctor says nothing can happen and you die. What happened? The money is gone. Yes. That one billion cannot pay for your life. Say I have one billion. Doctor, take one billion and give me life. It's not possible. Doctor says you cannot do anything. So for you to have life, know you are different than those who have billions. Don't think say, ah, I don't have money now. Huh? Mama leave me. It's better. When there is life, there is hope. Yes, sir. Something can put home and you change. All you are suffering now, maybe 2020, God has a better plan for you. Amen. 2020, you have a better plan for you. Yes, sir. So do not think, ah, uh, I've been suffering all this year, so I don't want to go to 2020. Oh, you have to do. What do you want to do? The best thing is, know you have a God that is merciful. And a God that answers you when you call him. Amen. All you need to do is have faith in him. Yes. If you don't have faith in him, sorry. And you have to have faith and give that on to him for what he has done for you. After you give it to him, you are right now expecting for the next one to come. If you don't give thanks, you get anything you don't give thanks, you are close chapter and you see alone. That you had, you have it forever. You are that one, amen. You call it God, he will not answer you. But when you give that on to him, you return yourself with him again. Mm. Whatever you need again, you have it immediately. Mm. Why? Because we are now working with him. So many of us should know that giving thanks to God is very, very important for us. Don't neglect him. Do not think whatever I ask you for, I bought it already. But God can go to hell, it doesn't matter. No. Yes, you have it now. That's not the end of life. Say, I was begging God for, you should give me a wife. Now I have a wife. There's no more God again. Church, what am I going for church for? I don't matter already now. Is that the end of life? No. That is not God. You need more than that. Your life is protected by Him. He has it. Jesus Christ paid the price. No one can pay that price that He paid. Even your healthy father cannot pay the price. Yes, sir. Your healthy father don't pay for you. There's somebody will come now. I'm a policeman. Who have these three sons? You are the one. I want to kill them. Do you pay so I don't kill them or I kill you? They will say, oh, please, take the boy, I don't know. That's what they tell you. They will not tell you, take me away. And say my children, but they will not say so. So just know that dying for you is not easy. So do not say, why should I be worshiping only one person? The only one you worship is Jesus. That is the name. That is above all names. Amen. Because he endured. The cross. It's not say me and God. I cannot go to him. Went to God for you. For that is God elevated him and gave him a name. Gave him a name that above all names on this earth. Yes, sir. In His name, no one's more than Him. The same to you yourself. You have to be there to Him, so that at the end of the day, He can also lift you up. That's all we definitely all we need to be obedient to Him, so that all the things you are looking for, you get it. If you don't obey him, it's not a problem. It's only like you are suffering yourself. God is in God. Like I show you cannot change his position. It's God forever. Not only for your generation, if your generation don't come, it's still in God. Like my grand 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 grandfather now, I don't even know him. He's dead a long time ago. But he's the same God that is still there. Mm -hmm. God has not changed. Yes, sir. So if you think that. Like they have changed up now, they can change change God now. Who will change God? Nobody. Nobody will change God. So all we need to do is, is acting unto Him, have faith in Him, and give us unto Him that you are alive. Yes. That's what I want us to know that we stay in 2020 is because of His mercy, Amen. not because of our good works. Amen. So He put us on that package all together. Is exactly for every one of us. What you believe is just right. Just know it's your hope of glory. Amen. That's where your glory comes from. No one else. So for that reason, you must make sure you honor yourself before him. We are all here because of Jesus. Not because of uh, the president of the Austria. No. I don't even know the name of the president of Austria. I don't even know his name. So I don't even know his name. But it's not because of him. 
All we need is the blood of Jesus Christ, the whole world. So you cannot say, I'm now more than that. That is why many people are rebellious to themselves, unknown to them. I don't want to go to church. I don't ah, I'm too busy. You can't be rebellious to who made you to be alive. If you are rebellious to him, you are not rebellious to yourself, unknown to you. So, brother and sister, please, do not be rebellious to God himself. It's not good. Yes, sir. His house is his house. It's the head of his house. If you don't come to him, it only means you are rebellious to him. Do not think that, uh, not be God, though. Now, this uh, face, I don't want to see this face again. That's why I'm not coming there. Are you coming there to see the face before? You're going to see God. Not the face you are seeing. Everyone is coming for his own purpose. Do not because another man say I'm not going there again. What's your own problem with the man? Close your eyes to what the man is saying. Face who we are facing, Jesus Christ. It's the person we should face. Amen. So, if, so, for example now, if this house where we are worshiping God here now, the owner can say, okay, this is church. Now, this house is not free. Don't pay one night again. Amen. Nobody will come tell you to bring one arrow here. There's no need for it. Amen. We don't need it. It's everything free. No problem. Amen. That is it. So you know, say, uh, uh, I'm not going to struggle to everyone to give money to God. You say, I'm giving money to God. Where is God? Is he coming? Is he going to have to give to God? But we need to pay for all these things here because of him. So we should know, we should not deceive ourselves that we are here worshiping him. He knows himself. If he said the one you see, you don't respect him. How can you convince him that you that you don't see that you love him? You can't convince him. The one he sent to you, if you let go away. But you tell God, I love you. I'm not seeing before I love you. Now you are telling a lie. First of all, show your love to the one you have seen yes. because of him. Show love to that one. Then he knows automatically he loves him. Oh, we don't think that too. We always think, I'll wait until today, I'll see God here. Bam! Hey! I'll say, God, you don't come, I'll wait for you. It cannot work that way. It's not working that way. If one short comes to come today, today, it means you are prepared to go have heaven. Are you sure you are going to have all hell? <laughs> that was to be sure. If I invite short to come today, just know the final has come. And he's taking away, he's taking away. There's no other place now, there's no place there. Qualify, let's go. I don't know then. You'll be surprised. So what's going on? No problem. So he is giving us time to prepare ourselves now. Because no one is very sure. So when it comes, that is going for everlasting. He went to prepare the martial liberty for every one of us. For that reason, we should be made sure that wherever we are now, say on earth, we have faith in him and be obedient to him by obeying the laws of the place you are. That's what I'm talking about. That is how can be obedient to Jesus Christ. Because what we are doing here is for him. This is not a company I say together and again. That this company I reside in myself. I know what I pay I say, as the director, so I need a no. This is for God. It's the house of God. It's the house of God. And God Himself has made his promises. And whatever he says, does it go back on his sweat? He says, I bless you if you do this, and just know if you do it, you get your blessing. No enemy can stop you. Why? Because he's God himself. Amen. Nobody is more powerful as else him. We are serving the God that the whole world, his name is known everywhere. Jesus Christ is known. In the three faces. In heaven is known. Even on this head is known. Even under the net in the, 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 the head. The head is known there. Everywhere is known. The way that I took the thing from, from the Satan. Embarrass them. They said, You have passed the people that come to me. He took the key from him, left him there again, and he sit there with these people. So uh, he went back here. He he's not in heaven. Not even on earth here. He's gone finally home up. Where he has prepared for me and you. For that is the brother and sister. All I want to talk about today is please make up your mind that be a Christian, it only means I have to have faith in God. And you will be there to him. What we get talking about is in doing everything that you're supposed to do. Anything you are told that is from God, please do not disobey it. So where is God himself? No. Please do it. Why? Because the days are going shorter day in, day out. That day you are eight years old. Today you are not 20. You say, ah, how many? That is it. You cannot remain eight forever. No. So when they tell you, in the event we finish, ah, 
I saw that head story, don't try the year now. God, that's not a finish anywhere. It's not to finish. One day, if we have dropped, help it will finish. Then you will now face where are you going? That's what should happen behind our mind. We should try to live the way he said we should live on the set. He came to show us the way before he left. So, brothers and sisters, let us make up our mind to be the servant of the Lord and continuously focus on him and know that with him all things are possible. Amen. Because Jesus Christ himself, there is no one that can challenge him. It's God himself. It's God himself. Amen. Even though you say, ah, it's God himself. And for that reason, brothers and sisters, we are his children. Baptized in the same spirit. We call one. So for that reason, we will be there to his word and give us on to him that he has seen you till this day, the second of December 2019. The same God will take you over to this 2020 that is coming. Amen. And when you get 2020, we will now open heaven for you. So all the things you are looking for. We did pray as the only conference. We think it's all over. It's not over yet. Definitely God himself surprised you Amen. by giving you the things you asked him for. Before this 2020 come physically, it's not here in about a week to come. Don't be surprised. Why? Because it's a principle God. And I pray that every one of us that is here, that God should, by His Spirit, impart His love into our heart to know how to love each other. Amen. So that we don't deceive ourselves anymore. Because we continue to deceive ourselves. You are not a sister, you are fighting, you are fighting every minute and second. Why? What do you know that? There's no need for that. The devil is there, you cannot fight the devil. You are fighting your brother, that's with you. If you fight your brother, what will you do to the you if you see him? That's the problem. So the best thing is, we should know that we are living for somebody. Somebody paid the price for you to live on this earth. Which no one can pay. That is Christ. It is enough in him for us to obey him. Going to church is just to make sure you're going to have one or two ways of him and count that way daily that will carry you up to live direct with him, do the normal things. Otherwise, we say, I have Bible now, there's no need to say my heart, I'm not going to trust anymore. I have Bible already, so I'll say my heart already. No, you can't walk that way. He said, anyway, two out there are that because of me, I'll be there in your midst. And right now, he's here in our midst. The prayers we are praying today, you think we are just talking, talking, he's hearing you. All you need to do is have a change of heart towards him. Yes, sir then the things you require, you will definitely make sure you have them. Amen. Because this year must not end without you getting what you need to get. Yes, sir. We are the one talking since the beginning of January. Say that we are, we said this year that is our year of Shekinah and sufficiency. That's why I ask you, is there anyone here that saw it for the past three days? Because you never had money. That's why he did not that was fast to know. I'm uh, so poor, I don't have money to eat, and that is why I didn't eat for 30 days now. See me on any dial. Is there anybody there? Nobody here. So he has sufficiency. He makes sure you have everything. Yes. It's left for you to follow him, or you don't follow him. If you don't follow him, he will not force you. It's always in your midst. So also he continues to block you, block the enemy from coming to you. It's longer how we touch anywhere you are mm. and protect you. Why? Because he makes sure that whatever he said that will not be here comes to pass until the year passes away. If we say a few days that remain this year, we will not pass away without you getting what you are supposed to get. Amen. Why? Because the devil is talking yeah. about Jesus Christ himself. We say, no, my children will have what they are supposed to have. Amen. And by the power of God, whatever you are asked for, this 2019, that up to now, you are not seeing in your hand, by the grace of God, before this year passes away, in the name of Jesus, that you get the testimony. Amen. You get the testimony. Amen. Nobody can stop you. Amen. Not even the enemy, not the devil Amen. himself cannot stop you. Amen. Why? Because the blood of Jesus has already defeated him. Yes, sir. He has defeated him already. The blood of God has taken over. We are no more under that captivity anymore. Why? Because Christ said he's finished already. It's a finished work, done work. All we need to do is to follow this process. Amen. When you follow the process, everything will be done for you. So we're coming to church just to make sure 
we are able to continue the Bible and says how to live for him, not for ourselves. Not focusing on the eternal problem around us. But what he says is our own blessings is what we focus on. Let's see what the book of Second Peter. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3 says. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says, say, according as divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. That is Jesus Christ. Don't play with your life. Just know Jesus Christ has given you everything that you need on this earth. If you not deny yourself for having faith in him, believing in him, then it's your problem. All we need to do is focus on him. Focus on him. And just know that he has everything for you. He has everything for you. Your head is there already. No one can take it from you. Why? Because he's the owner. And he gives to you. So we should deceive ourselves. Don't allow the enemy to say, oh, you don't go to wife. Forget about that one. Don't go to church again. It's not important. Mm -hmm. There's no need. There's no need. Why? Because the one who paid the price for you is coming back and is only the one that will be on your message. The Bible did not tell me somebody else will be on your message. He said Jesus Christ himself will be on your message on that day. He's the one that paid, died for you. And he died for you, he's qualified to stay where the government is say the life I paid for you. How do you spend it on the head before you know take it to heaven or not? That's the right. Is that for you? No, he died for you. So he's going to ask you, how did you live on this set? He said, no, me, I, don't, I didn't have time, no. I just, I was thinking of making up my mind to come and stand living with you before I die. So he said, very good. Go for another, don't know where you're coming from. He will take you back to it. Let it so. There's no, it's automatic. So for that reason, please, brother and sister, you should know. Somebody paid the price for me and you. Yes, sir. Which even your earthly father may not be able to pay. Why I say may not be able to do it, may want to do it, oh, but God says ah, you are not qualified. So what will you do? Yes, sir. What is you not qualified? Nothing can do. Because God knows what He wants. You cannot tell God, so now me I go do that for a He said, you know qualified to that job. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, nothing you can do. The one that qualified and dies for you, please focus on Him. Don't allow the earth to drive you. Take your, your eyes away from Christ. No, focus on Christ. Yes, sir. God is only the way. No one that says it's the way truth. and truth. He said it clearly. People say, oh, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Take you away. He said it's the way and the truth. Today, what is the problem now? I asked them, most of them, you are going to? They say, uh, mommy say, if you keep passing, then you go to heaven. I will tell you. I don't know the way they are going to. I'm not condemning God. I don't know. Jesus said it's the way. Buddha, I don't want to tell them. So you have to give somebody before you get what you want to get? No, I don't know. But Christ is the way. Amen. So if you don't go to him, it's your problem. Those of us that know it's the way, please make sure you make up your mind to be obedient to him and focus on him. Amen. Don't allow distractions because there are only distractions around you. Well, why do you think God said, I'll prepare a table before you in front of your enemies? Why do you not say, I'll kill all your enemies before I prepare them for you? He didn't say so. He said, the of your enemies have been paid for you. Because he knows, enemies are always there. He's not going to try to kill them. That's not the problem. Time is going for them. But now you focus yourself on him. They are driving your Come back where you go to. I'm coming. I'm going to meet Jesus. Come on. You just don't look at them. Go where you are going to. Why? Because you know where you are going to is the truth. And the right way. But many of us today say, ah, okay, let me so this one first. I will the dog. And you don't go to church again now. And I know they go to church at all. The daughter has said, okay. You, okay, I'm not going to go only one week. Before you know it's two weeks. Before you know it's three weeks. I don't tell you. Don't eat with us now. Don't eat with us. 
be like a position next week. There's no need for that. Make up your mind. Even for one day, why should you apply for a church? Why? Why? Why should you apply for you from the God of God, the house of God? His presence is safe, is always there to protect you, to give you all that you need. Anything is just for a time. He bless you that day. Tomorrow he tells you you are your own. You do have like this, I'm not for you. Now like they say they are going, they are going. You are going to heaven. Don't follow me, follow me. They are following them. He was going. You got the place now. Come on. You can't pass here. You say why? You see that? You say no. I mean, it's from. I can't go there. Now here we reach. Ah, uh -uh. why did you tell me from the beginning? They have told you. Now here I finish. I can't go forward. You'll be surprised. What's happening? That is life. Because he has told you the truth. You can't go further. But the one that knows where to where he's going to, you will not follow that one. He said, he's talking to me so difficult now, not following him. Follow the one that is difficult for you, which is Jesus Christ. Follow him, it's difficult. Follow him because you take you straight there. Then the devil that preparing you here and there, you take his doing you right. Before you know it, he gave up and said, I can't go further. Because he cannot go further through truth. Because his way has ended also. And I pray that every one of us will not miss our way. That at the end of the day, we shall end up going to that everlasting heaven. That we'll be there again, we see ourselves as the earth. You are here, you are welcome. Not saying that that one has given up. No! None of you should give up. Amen. Because the devil is always there to make sure you give up. Don't give up. Amen. That's where we are alive. So we should make sure we are able to look sure, make sure that the word of God does not depart from our mouth daily. Because that's the only way out to be able to, to enrich ourselves with his promises. Let's see what the book of before I close, the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 3 says. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the ways of salvation. Salvation has given to you gratis. Gratis salvation to every one of you. You don't, you don't, you don't even know how it came about. You, you don't have to believe this one guy. You get something to say, eh? So it's all easy, so easy, but still many are missing way. It's already to me and you gratis. So easy. With joy, shall you draw water out of the ways of salvation. Jesus you know guy made it so easy for me and you. Just accept him as God as Savior. Follow him, focus on him. Then joy upon your portion. But you don't want it. Many of us say we don't want it. We have to make sure we want it. Why? Because Jesus Christ has done something that no one can do for us. It's our portion to have freedom, which I give to every one of us. He said it's finished already. He has paid the price. Qualify you to be, be able to stand before God and ask him for anything. And he'll do it for you. Because with that, you are going to call yourself a child of God. But many of us he say, eh, I am not sure yet. Why are you not sure? Just like I said, it's finished. So it's free for me and you. Please make sure you make up your mind to focus on Jesus. Be faithful to him. Be obedient to him. And trust him. Amen. Believe in him. And know with him all things are possible. Yes, His heart is not short. I cannot protect you. Anywhere you are, it can reach you. Why did he say the whole earth is a full stool? Do you know what the meaning of full stool? That means God wants to be in this today. He will not come down here. He does not enter your plane. The whole earth is full stool. He wants to go to Benicity. He will come down in Benicity. It's the head. It's full stool. He doesn't need to take this anywhere. So it's everywhere, anywhere he wants to be. He doesn't need to transport. That is God for you. For that reason, please do not take. If I'm in Nigeria, I'll serve God. But not Nigeria, I don't have time. No. There's no restrictions because it's so and so. No. It's same God. Many of us say, don't know enough. It's difficult now. Nah, not be home with this one. I don't have time. 
Why do you say so? But you have time to use that your life in you to fear. Why do you not say, hey, Father, I want to travel to abroad. Take my life, keep it for me. When I go, I'll come back and take it from you. Then you go with that life, whether you know down the road. <laughs> then you reach here, you say, I, I don't I, hey, I'll do it. You are seeing it. You start pay the price for you. You are using this life, you say that after for you. You can't walk that way. Please, have time for Jesus. Because he's the owner of your life. And the owner of the life of every one of us that is saving. That has paid for. If you are not for him, he cannot force you. Believe you alone with the devil. And the devil also will take you permanently. So I pray that none of us will be so foolish that we deceive by the enemy. Take it out. He's doing us good. Say, how do you go to church every day, every Sunday? Ah, it's too much. Uh, once in the year, it's going to. Why? No. So, for us, for us, sister, please make up your mind. We are living this 2019. You believe it's your place and enter 2020 that the enemy cannot stop you and God Himself 2020 will prepare it for you. And definitely, once you step your leg in 2020, you see the outburst of, of prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. That the enemy, whatever has stolen from you this 2019, that you see all the time, does not allow you to get it. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will get your blessing. Amen. You will get your blessing. Amen. No enemy can stop your place from you. Amen. Whether it's only yours, that God has already prepared for you, the enemy cannot stop them. They will call your own in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Amen. Before you run out this 2019, Father, let every single body, person that is here, they will be blessed for you, Father. Amen. Every place you have made provision for us during our conference, Father, we ask you, let them be on the fixation these many days in this year. So I'll be able to glorify your name also. Tell the whole world that you have done it for us, Father. Amen. Father, we give that all to you. We ask you, Lord, that this coming week that we are going to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, Father, we ask you to empower every one of us, Father. Amen. Let your love come into our heart. Let us know who you are and love each other. You said we love each other, Father. Let that Holy Spirit impart your love into the heart of every single one, Father. Take away the story heart from us, Father, so that we can live for you, that we be able to go and cross to the 2020, that you are already making for you for our Father. And every good prophecy that you are already preparing for us this 2020, Father, let it come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Father we give thanks unto you. Thank you, thank you mighty God. Thank you, Father, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray for everyone that is here. Amen.